This is a story about a kite and the culture behind. Let's experience the journey over the rainbow. The kites were originated from China, dating back to very ancient times. Chinese kites held its popularity all over the world for their colorful shapes, unique styles, and distinguished cultural features. Kite master Mr. Chen is wife who graduated from Weifang Institute of Art and Design in China. Throughout their professional arts career, they have been devoted to kite making. With Chen concentrating on the aerodynamic structures, while his wife on wood kite painting. With two years preparation. Columbia Friends of China invited Cat Master Chen Jianguo and his wife and cat artist Lang Fenglian to be the honored guests for the One Sky One World Cat Festival here in Columbia, and we were happy talking with them. Can you introduce a little bit about your Wei Fang's cat? Because I have been interested in this cat for a long time. So can you just introduce a little bit about its history and also culture? We Wei Fang is a 食物也比较发达的城市。My hometown Weifang is very popular for its handicraft industry. The kite culture is one of the traditional cultures in Weifang. It has a long history. Many people make the kites and fly the kites. Especially in recent years, the kites are considered as a symbol of the city Weifang. We use the kites as a medium to communicate with the world. And then deliver the traditional Chinese kite culture to the whole world. So I know that both your wife and you are graduated from、um, Weifang Institute of Art and Design. So is there anything particular that leads you to、um, like understand the kite as a very particular thing as a symbol of Chinese culture? My wife and I graduated from Weifang Institute of Art and Design. She majors in woodcut painting. The woodcut art cooperates very well with kite craft, so her skill in woodcut painting is very helpful in my kite design. In this way, I initiated an idea to combine these two traditional Chinese art skills and apply them to kite making. It's our uniqueness in all kinds of Chinese kite makings. Can you just show one of your piece of artwork to our、uh, American people and just explain a little bit about、uh, how you make it and also what's in it? This kind is a representative of the cooperation between my wife and I. It was painted with meticulous details. There are many improvements that I've done on this kite. The biggest change is that the wings are detachable, so that people could put it in a small box and carry it when traveling. With the painting on the kite, it could be both a simply flying kite and an artwork. Kite master Mr. Chen is wife had given many flying demonstrations in schools and art organizations. They also held some kite making workshops to teach kite lovers how to make and decorate the kites. What they present is not only the kite making and kite flying skills, but more of a traditional Chinese culture. Chen said he has spent three years practicing indoor kite flying techniques. He said it will be a great chance for kite lovers to be independent from the weather conditions and just enjoy flying a kite. During his trip in Colombia, many people are amazed by his indoor flying demonstrations. Lilian Song, who invited them from faraway China, cooperates with Master Chen and school officials to bring the kids interesting kite features. Master Chen and his wife are very welcomed by the students. The students are eager to learn how to make a kite and fly a kite.
some of uh, um, Mr. Chen's wife's um, work. Yeah, they are kind of working together side by side. In the kite making workshops, Master Chen introduced people the basics of how to make a kite. So you adjust if the wind is too like blowing too hard. Then you adjust it to smaller than 90 degrees. Yeah. But you make the knot to adjust angle. Yeah. Depend on when you try. So don't cut the tail off the string. If the head goes down, you tie a knot at the bottom. From the material bamboo to the whole structure, the participants posed many questions for Master Chen to answer. People later on were provided with the examples and could try themselves. Kite artist Long also presented her painting skills during the workshop. There are thousands of kite makers in Weifang, but most of them who can fly a kite cannot make a kite, and those who can make a kite cannot fly a kite. I learned woodcut painting when I was young. After my husband and I retired, we worked together to make and paint the kites. I'm good at drawing features, so I began to draw Asian Chinese characters on the kites for beautification. Long said both kite making and kite painting are traditional Chinese art skills. They two are interdependent from each other. She also mentioned that she's very interested in different features in Asian Chinese stories, such as the four beauties. Chinese kites fall into two major categories those with detachable wings and those with fixed wings. The ones with fixed non detachable frames can fly better and higher, given a steady wind, but difficult to be carried. Then Chen comes up with an idea that to make some detachable wings kites. These kites can be taken apart and packed in boxes. Easy to carry about, they make good presents. And there is a One Sky, One World uh, Kite Festival, which is actually worldwide. They fly kites for peace. We thought it would be fun to bring a special Chinese kite master to be part of the One Sky, One World uh, Festival activity. The kite flying day is the last and most important stop for Master Chen and his wife's trip to U.S. One Sky, One World Kite Flying Day is an international kite festival which is held on every second Sunday in October. The event has been held internationally for 25 years and it was the sixth year in Colombia. Colombia Parks and Recreation cooperates with Colombian Friends of China to bring the special Chinese features to the celebration. The event also provides opportunities for families to get out and enjoy the good weather. Well, it's just a beautiful way to, you know, celebrate, um, you know, the, the season and like beautiful day, but also like our community that we love to bring, you know, we love how it brings families out and the kids get to play and be outdoors and enjoy the weather and the colors and just be a part of, of a wonderful community. American kite lovers also attend the event and share the experience.
Well, it's, it's a lot of fun to fly kites, and usually I'm out pretty much by myself flying them, so it's a lot of fun to join in with other people who also enjoy flying kites. I love flying kites for peace. I love flying kites for peace. I like flying kites for peace. I love 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 flying kites for peace.